good evening guys so we are here to solve a few problems on percentages so let me straight away go with the problems so my uh, 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 yeah this is the first problem it is given if 25 percentage of a number is 75 then 45 percentage of the number is what so straight away it is given 25% of a number is 75 and he is asking 45% of the same number is 1. So whenever the question is in this way, then straight away go for the cross multiplication, you will get answered very easily. So it's 25 times x equals to 45 times 75 so 25 ones 25 threes 45 into 3 135 that's it so now we'll go to our next problem yeah so here the problem says in an election between two candidates Biku get 65 percent of total valid votes if total votes were 6000 what is the number of valid votes that the other candidate Matrik gets if 25% of the total votes were declared invalid? Fine. So, election between two candidates, Bhikkhu and Matrik, total votes are 6000, 25% are invalid. Okay. So, Bhikkhu gets 65 percentage of the votes. So, if Bhikkhu gets 65 percent, then Matrik would be getting how much? 100 minus 65 which is 35 percent so we'll solve this question step by step guys it's a very easy see total words are 6000 he mentioned 25 percent invalid so what is 25 percent of 6000 which is one fourth of 6000 which is 1500 so valid words are 4000 500 so out of 4500 valid votes person a got how much biku biku got how much 65 percent then matri would be getting how much the remaining 35 percentage of the votes right that's it here he is asking question how much does matri got so matri got 35 percentage of 4500 which are valid votes so it is 35 percentage you need to calculate so we can calculate percentage in this way so i'll uh, so tell you one uh, idea here instead of normal multiplications so let's say any number uh, is equal to its 100 percent so 10 percent would be how much 450 so I'm going to divide my 35 percent into 30 percent plus 5 percent. So 10 percent is 450. Then 30 percent would be 3 times 450. So 3 times 450 will be 1350. 10 percent is 450. Then 1 percent will be 225. So 1350 plus 225. The answer is 1575. So this is our answer. 1575 so let me go with the next problem so i put a similar problem here but it's of in a different way so here also in an election and the candidate who got 56 percentage of the votes cast 1 by 144 votes so here it is mentioned two persons a and b contested the election person a got 56 percent so obviously person b will be getting how much percentage of the votes 44 percentage of the votes and this person won by 144 votes which may okay so this is the information given let me go in this way so okay fine find the total number of voters on the voting list if 80 percentage of people cast the vote and there were no invalid votes fine so actually here we don't know uh, fine uh, let me take in this way whatever the number of votes that were casted i'm taking it as 100 oh, sorry total voters are 100 percent i'm taking in that 
only 80% cast at their vote. So, how many did not cast? Did not cast would be 20%. So, casted is 80%. And in that, whoever casted the votes, in that person A, the winning candidate got 56% of the votes. Whatever the casting votes are there, in that 56%. So, 56% of 80% person person A got. Then person B would have been got, got how much? So, if he got 56% of 80, then he would be getting 44% of 80. So, I will take in this way. So, A won by 144 votes. So, A got 56% of 80% of total votes total votes minus we got 44 percentage of 80 percentage of total votes so clear so this is it so 56 percent minus 44 percent it would be 12 percent 12 percent of 80 percentage of total votes casted which is equals to 144 so one fine equation 12 percent is nothing but 12 by 100 into 80 percent is 80 by 100 into total water what is equals to 144 so four ones sorry 24s 25s this 12 times 144 will be 12 times and again with four it will cancel out with by three so total votes will be 3 times 5 times 100 which is 1500 so i hope you got the problem let me go with the next problem now i hope it is clear so it seems to be lengthy but you need to be little uh, understanding uh, you need to understand the problem in a proper way so that you can get answer within a under less than 1 minute okay fine so this is the third question guys the population of village is 1 lakh the rate of increase is 10 percent per annum find the population at the start of third year so it's very simple at the start of third year he mentioning he mentioned he asking so start of first year and then start of second year and then start of third year so simple so starting it is given as 1 lakh population. So, from first year to second year, 10 percentage rise. So, 10 percent of uh, 1 lakh is 10,000. So, that would be 1 lakh plus 10,000 is 1 lakh 10,000. Again, the rise is same, 10 percent rise. Now, it is 10 percent of 1 lakh 10,000, which is 11,000. So, 1 lakh 11, uh, 10,000 plus 11,000 which is 1 lakh 21,000. So, this is our final answer. It's very simple. Let me move on to next problem. So, yeah, this problem you need to concentrate a little bit more guys. So, Ram spends 20% of his monthly income on his household expenditure, 50% of rest on books. 30% of rest on clothes and saves the rest. On counting, he comes to know that he has finally saved 9,520 rupees. Find his monthly income. So, let me start a problem in this way. We don't know how much is his income. That's we need to calculate. Let me take it as 100%. So, in this, how much did he spend for his household expenditure? Household expenditure, 20%. So, the second line it says the rest. So, 20% spending is on household expenditure. So, what about how much is left with him? It is left with him 80%. In this, he spent again on books how much? 15%. So, you need to calculate 15% of 80%. So, 15% of 80% will be 10 on 80, 10 percent is 8, 15 percent will be 4, 8 plus 4, 12 percent. So, that means out of 80, 12 percent he spent on books, 
so how much again the third line i also again rest board is scale so that's why i'll calculate again rest or remaining which is out of 80 if 12 is gone then it would be 68 remaining so now again whatever the thing that is remaining here he spent again on clothes how much 30 percent so 30 percent of 68 which is clothes so 10 percent we clearly know 6.8 so 30 percent will be 6.8 times 3 so 6 times 3 is 18 and 0.8 times 3 is uh, 2.4 so which is 20.4 percentage on clothes so again how much is the remaining at last this is nothing but his savings so out of 68 20.4 is gone so it is 47.6 percent is his savings so this information he is given this information he is given in this way so savings he mentioned as 47.6 percent is nothing but 9520 so 100 percent is how much so that's it so cross multiplication you will get 47.6 into x equals to 9520 into 100 so 47.6 is exactly twice 952 so 200 why because here is a decimal point is that we eliminated so x equals to 200 into 100 20 thousand so that's our fourth question let me go with the fifth question here uh, okay guys uh, this is a fifth question so the length and breadth of a rectangle are changed by 20 percent and by minus 10 percent respectively what is the percentage change in area of rectangle okay i'll go this question in a simple manner let me take initial length as length uh, l and initial breadth as b and area will be length times breadth okay now so it is given length increased by 20 percent so it will be 1.12 times breadth decreased by 10 percent so it would be 0.9 b so 12 into 0.9 is 1.08 lb so how much is clearly increase so straight away we can say 8 percentage increase so i hope you understood the problems over here guys so let me come up with the next video with the rest problems so bye bye as of now